Okay, this is the most boring and standard uh, thing about perspective drawing. This is the, uh, let's draw a box in space, a perfect cube or whatever. Um, a rectangular solid, as it were. Now the simplest way to suggest space or depth is to overlap something. So let's say we had two rectangular planes and we wanted and we wanted one of them to recede, what we do is we would draw one behind the other. So even though this second figure that's receding isn't actually a complete square or rectangle, we uh, make it so in our heads and we perceive this as being in front of this object. So that's something that, that you're going to take advantage of time and time again. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to draw through the forms so that there's a little bit of confusion about how this works. Um, so we're going to draw this in one point perspective. We're going to do this in a very similar way as we've worked with our planes. What we're going to do is we're going to start dropping our vertical lines, we're going to drop two on the other side, and we're just going to draw a big rectangle around this vanishing point. Okay? Just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take, from every corner, we're going to go draw a line all the way back to the vanishing point. I know this seems dry, but it'll uh, it'll get to be powerful eventually, especially if you're in the habit of drawing through the forms. Okay, it's going to look sort of two-dimensional right now, but now what we're going to do is we're going to draw another square, smaller, and just make it intersect along these receding lines that go to the vanishing point. Okay, so now we've effectively drawn a cube in space, but ignoring the solidity of the object. Okay, right now actually what we've got is more of a brief little hallway in space. Okay, this could be an interior or exterior, depending on how you want to think about it. Okay, so what I think will be more interesting is if we draw another cube in space, but this time we're going to draw it off to the side of the vanishing point. So we're going to make another vertical. We're going to pick any two points on here, above and below the horizon line, there and there. We're going to draw them back to the vanishing point. Okay, so we're effectively drawing one plane of the cube right now. So now what we're going to do is uh, pick uh, another vertical. Okay. And we're going to draw the face of the rectangle right here. And then at these two points, we're going to drop them back to the horizon line. And we're essentially doing this exact thing, but we've moved it off to one side of the horizon line. And it doesn't have to, it doesn't matter which side you're going to move it off to. So now what we're going to do is we're going to complete this uh, outer plane right here by dropping a vertical. All right. Now we're going to draw through the form. We're going to draw parallel to the horizon line. Draw parallel to the horizon line. And then we're going to connect these two lines. So you can see that right here we have the face of our rectangular solid. And then we have the back face of it, right here, 
this rectangle here, and then we have four receding planes. One, two, three, and four. Okay, it looks a little confusing because we've drawn three of the forms, but what you can do is kind of make the lines heavier. If you have a pencil, you could erase. So what we're going to do is we're going to make all the lines that could actually be seen if we were looking at this object, we're going to make those heavier just to kind of bring them out. Give this a sense of space. And there we go. We've drawn you know, a cube in one point perspective centered over the vanishing, vanishing point, um, and we've drawn another rectangular solid, uh, but off to one side of the, of the vanishing point. All right. That's it for now.